Hello everyone, welcome back to The Outer Worlds, where last time we uh, talked to the produ productivity queen, or prophet, and uh, found out that she thought she killed Helen, but didn't. She didn't attempt to kill Helen, it wasn't like an attempted murder or anything, but uh, she did think she killed her, but we found out that that was not actually the case. Oh, did we just one shot these guys? They're megas, aren't they? Holy crap. Yeah, so Helen went there to sort of apologize for her statement, costing the prophet money. And the prophet uh, got her high as fuck. She passed out, and then the prophet drag dragged her outside and left her in the wilderness. And at which time she woke up and returned to the Grand Colonial and was murdered. Now, what happened in between those things, we have no idea. Did she get infected by the slug things? Did, um... You know, did, did somebody else find her body and bring her back and then killed her? Uh, we don't know. We don't know what happened. And we have no idea who did it. My guess is it's Ludovico, but I have no evidence on that. This is cool. I like this little place. But right now we're doing a couple of side quests before we head back to Ludovico and tell him what we found out with the queen. Not the queen, the prophet. I don't know why I keep calling her the queen. Uh, we gotta find this milk auto mechanical, which I guess is... A hey guys. Commander, you ever wonder why they put lights on our armor? No, Trooper. What about these tubes poking out everywhere? No. Trooper, stop asking stupid questions. Sorry, Commander. <laughs> What is that? Oh, it's just a little a little boa. Boa snake thing. They're not hostile. I don't think. Betty the milk mech. Um, and a mega cannon. Help Betty. Okay, I'll help you. Owie, owie. My legs. Level up. Level 36. Okay. Go ahead and put... Uh, do we want to just... Yeah, let's just get some points in lockpicking. Up to 60. So now, lockpick preview. See what's inside. Locked containers. Ooh, that's kind of nice. And another perk. Yeah, I have no idea. No idea what we're going to get here. Let's just get... Um, the first thing that sounds nice... Headshot kills explode damaging nearby. Yeah, that sounds nice. There we go. And all you guys get another perk too. Um, when this companion takes damage, they gain some armor for a short time. Sure. If there's one thing I had to criticize about this game, it is the 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 combat. It really just kind of trivializes leveling up. Like, it doesn't really matter. Milk cows detected nearby. Returning to slug maintenance worker. Okay. That was pretty simple. Uh, this other one. Oh, we have to go all over the place, huh? Eh, that's kind of annoying. Let's go do it, though. Get to these hotel guests. Get their keys. Hit. Oh, no, we can't jump up there. Uh, is this the, uh, yeah, this is the, um, the place. Ooh. Discover that workbench. We didn't get any ex experience for that. Hmm, I wonder why. Uh, where did we leave that lady? Was this her? Hey, I almost can't believe it. Yeah. Betty found her way back. Here I was thinking I'd never see her again. One malfunctioning mechanical, as promised. She was trying to milk cannons. Oh, Betty, you big goof. What were you thinking in that little metal noggin of yours? You nearly worried me to death. And you, ain't you just the most reliable freelancer in the colony? That's me. Let me just take a look at Betty here and we'll talk about payment. Yep, that's right. Her parameters for movement and target acquisition are a mess. 
I'll bring her back to the garage and get her sorted out. Since Betty's back safe and sound, I'll be sure to let my co-workers know that you're a good one. Here's some money Utter for buddy. Your Least I can do to show my thanks. Uh, try to keep an eye on it. Eye on her this time. Oh, I won't be turning my back on Betty again, believe me. Thanks again for all your help. You really saved us both from the edge. That's what I do. The most reliable freelancer. I ride on the unreliable. It's pretty ironic. Alright, so there's a dead hotel guest right up here. Guessing I gotta kill beasties every time I do this. Nope. Get in, get out. Alright, the next one, 182 meters away. Let's go. Sprint. Oh, wow, we were right there. It looks like it's where that mega cannon is at. Maybe? No. It's up here. Ah. Where you at? Excuse you. Man, it's kind of hard to see these guys in, in this grass. You guys killed that Colossus yet? Come on, guys. Finish it off. There we go. Got you. Go ahead and take your gun, too. All right, the next one is over there. How are we doing on inventory space? I'm running out of space. Probably should sell the next time we are at the hunting lodge when we are headed out. Or when we turn this quest in, rather. Okay, so we're going over here. Sublight tour guide. Hey, guys. Oh, no, no banter, huh? Pretty, uh... Boring tour going on. There we go. They're taken care of. Ooh, what do we got here? Last words of Howard A. Kinsella. Though my wor my wounds are fatal, I, as a Byzantium, must face death with the same dignity with which I have lived my life. I hereby enclose the events leading to my demise. A tragic turn of fate separated me from my guides. The duo fled as our party encounters encountered a single raptodon, the cowards. I, however, drew my rifle and felled the beast, but not before it sank its teeth into my flesh. I imagine I must have been the finest thing it must have been the finest thing it had ever tasted in this wretched place. Perhaps my guides will find me before I pass, though I doubt those simpletons could find their way out of a cardboard box. I believe their names were Larry and Bell, or something similar, similarly mundane. To whoever finds this, please carry out my final wish. Pass on my rating of one out of five stars to the Grand Colonial. Guides were very unhelpful. Sincerely, Howard A. Kinsella. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll probably not do that. But, uh... At least his words have been read. Okay, so now we head over here. Ooh, that's a nice view with the arch there and then the Grand Colonial there. That's pretty nice. Huh? Where'd you guys come from? Oh, it's not dead. How'd that not damage it? What is this? There we go. Everyone, all right? Everyone is A-OK. -okay. So this guy ran all the way out here into the, the plains. Probably not a good idea. Another Colossus. Die! You, what are you doing? How'd I miss? Get back here. Gotcha. Alright, I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. 
Oh, God. There we go. Got your stuff. And now we head back to the uh, hunting lodge. Easy peasy. Another sublight tour going on. I don't know if we should explore these places. Uh, we might find a quest, but... I don't know. I'm just... I don't feel a whole lot of incentive to do that. I mean, we're not really getting any good loot. And the combat's not, you know, that engaging. I don't know. I kind of just want to get these quests done that we have, that we found. I hope there's nothing too, uh, too cool through here. But I just feel like I'd be wasting my time at the moment. Hello. Hey there. Hey there. Those keys? I sure did. I have them right here. That's all of them. You're a lifesaver and a half, Inspector. Oh, you're a flatterer. Lawrence, you got the bits? Let's see, which pocket did I... Oh, they're in my hand. Here you are, Inspector. <laughs> we'll make sure to put in a good word with our friends, too. I can't wait to put this behind us. I bet you can't. Uh, what are you going to do now? We'll wait here a little longer. And start clearing out their rooms when the shift changes. Not sure what we'll do with their belongings. Lawrence, we talked about this. Remember? What belongings? Ah. Anyhow, thanks again, Inspector. Clever. Good luck with your investigation. Thank you. And we are not getting any more experience. I do believe we must have hit the level cap. Kind of a strange level cap, 36. But, uh, yeah. It looks like we have. So that's pretty interesting. We still have a whole nother DLC after this one to do. And I just want to make it clear. I, I'm not saying I'm not enjoying the game or anything when I say I don't feel the need to, to explore super super thoroughly here. It's just... Like, I, I don't feel like the game is incentivizing me to do that. Like, I don't feel like that's where the fun of this game is. I feel like the fun of this game is the quest you pick up. You know, the, you know, hearing the dialogue and the funny, the humorous banter and all that stuff. Um, and just the story in general. It is it is very interesting. I am genuinely interested to find out what the hell is going on with Halcy and Helen and everything. I do wish that, uh, at least in the DLC, that they had some you know, unique armor sets. And I guess they do have some unique outfits like the uh, Bellhop outfit and things like that. But nothing too too cool, and nothing for you know our boy Bruce here. Welcome back. What can I do you for? And maybe some new monsters would have been neat. I guess we do have the slugs, which are neat, I suppose. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm still having a lot of fun. Just wanted to make sure that was clear. Let's see here. So we're going to sell all the junk, which. Doesn't actually free us up that much, and we'll sell all the drugs. We don't need any of them. We don't. We don't ever use them. And I think we're just gonna sell all the weapons. Ah, we'll break them down. There's a there's a workbench out back. Let's go break them down real quick. Break them down. All right, break down. So everything that's not golden. I'm a little disappointed we haven't found like a golden heavy weapon yet that I that I want to use. Yeah, see, we got a couple of uh, unique outfits like Hemlock Eye Patch, you know these things, but they're not uh, they're not something my character uses. You know, I like the big heavy armor. Although I guess you know with how the combat works, it doesn't really matter if you have heavy armor, right? Because you're probably not going to die. Uh, we also need to repair. I forgot to do that. Yes, repair. Thank you very much. Okay. So we are done here, right? Yes. So now let's go talk to Ludovico. Back at the penthouse. Fast travel there. 
I think we're getting, I mean, we've gone everywhere, right? So we should be getting close to the uh, conclusion of this DLC. It's going to be pretty exciting. The climax should be coming. Uh, I finished my investigation into Jas Jasmine Leva, the prophet of profitability. Ms. Leva earned that title, but not for the reasons you'd expect. The profit business has been profitable for the hotel. Mm -hmm. Not so much for Ms. Leva's followers. I have noticed. So tell me, what did you find? She really wants to be arrested. She wants to be arrested? That's not the kind of behavior I expect from a suspect. Perhaps she's carrying a guilty conscience. Does the prophet strike you as a reasonable candidate for Helen's murderer? No. Maybe. She needs to be detained until I've done... I'm done with my investigation. Yeah, I doubt she did it. But no, I doubt I doubt she did it. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you for the update, Inspector. I'll include everything you've told me in my official report. I don't know who killed Helen. I don't know. Somebody help me. Okay. Speak with Spencer Woolrick. The autopsy reports, so in his room in the VIP. So how do I get into the, does this tell me how I get in there? I guess I gotta leave the penthouse. What floor? Um lobby, please. Hello? We'll bring Nioka. I should have brought her on the hunting hunting trip. Uh Nioka and Felix, sure. How seen Helen dead? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so there is another... Aha! I have to talk to you. Hey. The Grand Colonial Front Desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you again. How may I be of assistance to you, Inspector? Uh... I need access to the VIP guest floor. I'd love to, Inspector, but I don't really have the authority. Moreover, the guests were promised exclusivity. If I let you up there, I'll never hear the end of it. Um, trying to make my life difficult is a dangerous, dangerous idea. Uh, I wasn't. Wasn't, I wasn't trying to. I know. You know, now that I think about it, I, I, I can get you up to the guest floor. Mm. Not trying to cause any trouble, just doing my job. Good. Let me just set you up with VIP guest floor access. Done. You can now come and go as you please. The Grand Colonial sure is, uh, interesting. It certainly is a marvel of modern ingenuity, luxury, and ambition. Hmm. Please, That's not allow what I meant. me to answer any curiosities you might have about our building and the amenities on offer. Uh... Nah, I don't know. You're sure? Okay. I've pretty much explored it all, so I kind of know. And yeah, I mean, I'm already over the fact that you didn't actually clean up the penthouse. And there is the killer right there, Bill Hop Norville. It's him. What floor would you like to visit? Uh, VIP guest floor. If you see Black Hole Birdie, be sure to get an autograph for me. Oh, just joking, I've already got one. Haha, uh -huh. good joke. Okay, so let's see what the this area is like. Okay, not too big. Just me, does the ceiling feel lower here? I think it's just me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm feeling that way. Okay, let's go through here. A few locked doors. I'm not gonna worry about them. Oh, jeez, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> um, are we not gonna talk about this? What the hell? Oh, you're a uh, garbage protocol. Now simulating familiar and welcoming demeanor. Burbage three thousand one is trained to recognize all board approved actors. Greetings, fellow star. Your performance in Maverick Johnston's latest drama was memorable. Well, thank you. Yep, I'm a star. Flatter me like it's, <laughs> like it's in your programming. 
Uh, I see you've had some work done. Who upgraded you? The Badge 3001's programming is frequently upgraded to adhere to board certified standards. The most recent upgrade was performed by Spencer Woolrich Banter Protocol Exhausted. Reverting to default behavior, grieving and despair. Oh, Halcyon Helen, may your atoms be commended to the Aether. You knew her? Verbage 3001 was designed to disrupt Halcyon Helen's monopoly over the Aether Wave serial market. This unit's programming is based on Helen's most famous rules. Burbage 3001. Anything Halcyon Helen can do, this unit can do slightly worse. <laughs> Does that include dying? Uh, it's, it almost sounds like you've got a motive for murdering her. Now running shock and dismay protocol. <laughs> What's this? Helen's death was a murder? How horrifying. Bring that killer to justice, designated authority figure. This unit has not yet completed its grief cycles. Randomizing despair tables. Oh, Helen, is there no justice in the world? <laughs> I'm leaving. Yeah, I came in here. I actually thought he was cleaning. <laughs> oh, that's, uh... I don't know, is that a uh, auto mechanicalist of me? Probably. Aha! You have evidence. What is this? You are talented. You are magnificent. You are a joy for others to be around. You are de you're definitely not a two bit hack. You bring all to the world at life to the world um around you bring life to the world around you the through the art you create through the art of theater rather what's this what's that say spencer warwick oh is that like an autograph timeline discrepancy detected nearby discrepancy detected this bottle recently discarded Contains residue from foreign substances. Chemical analysis complete. This unit has detected the following substances. Oil. Terroray. Blood. Terroray. Unidentifiable biological fluids. Terroray. Hmm. Were these substances added later? Yes, Inspector. Logical analysis indicates these substances were not present in the bottle's original contents. Is it toxic? These substances cause extreme gastrointestinal distress in humans. Large doses can be fatal. This bottle contained Rizospectrum vodka. The presence of terroray biological fluids may have significantly improved its flavor. Mm. Let's move on. Okay. What is that? Weird. Oh, is that like, uh, you know, when hotels put the mint on your pillow? Hey. About time you arrived. I see you haven't dressed the way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non-industry lout. Expect mm. a complaint to management. Now, unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing. Ready? <coughs> <laughs> You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. And draw your weapon. Draw a weapon. Oh, you, you wouldn't harm an old man at the end of his wits, would you? Uh, I'm confused, disoriented. I may have even soiled myself. <laughs> if you're armed, that must mean you're not with the hotel staff. Ding, ding, ding. This is curious indeed. Who are you? How did you get in here? 
Name's Bruce. I'm a ship captain. Now, I'm here to investigate the murder of Housing Helen. I'd like to ask you a few questions. You're here to investigate me? Oh, I assure you, I'm nothing special. Just an old crook with more money than time. That was a quote from the retiree's revenge, in which I played an ex-thief turned decrepit old man. But uh, of course, I'm certain you already recognized it. <laughs> now, what shall I, like I this guy. first? Your weapon? Your wallet? Or perhaps something... Uh, a little more personal Ooh. undergarment signatures mm -hmm. have been popular of late or so i've heard i don't know if i wear undergarments i haven't checked <laughs> make a rude gesture uh you can sign my weapon if you want yeah i'm not here for an autograph uh are you okay yeah you can sign my weapon i'd be delighted he needs it oh damn my pen's out of ink I'll just get you a portrait of my face as a souvenir. I'm sure I have the prints around here somewhere. By the by, how did you get in here? The only non-staff individual cleared to enter guest rooms is supposed to be the inspector for Bellamy's murder. I already told you that's what I'm doing. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Yes. Uh, fold your arms. Hello. Uh, hi. <laughs> Terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. Uh, understand that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Back when I starred in the Marauder's Pain, the absolute picture of justice. Ask me anything at all. I might even give you a straight answer. I love this guy. Um, I've learned a thing or two about your activities in the hotel. Oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. I spoke to Burbage. He told me you upgraded him. I did indeed. With Halsey and Helen parading her fame about, I was left without an acting partner. Burbage is no exception. His acting protocols <laughs> were nothing short of a joke. So I decided to make some modifications, installing him with some of my old serial quotes as, I think, improved his range. The way he bungled about with that weapon of his hardly befitted a dissident, so I modified it as well. He's much quicker on the draw now, though he's still a machine. Hmm. I've got my eye on you. I'm quite used to being breathlessly watched. Hmm. I hear you were poisoned. Indeed. The agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. <laughs> he must have tainted my meal in retaliation. Uh, can you think of anyone other than the Chef who'd want to harm you? None that I can think of. I treat all hotel staff equally, and with the minimum level of respect <laughs> that they deserve. Pleasant. Why didn't you go to the clinic for your stomach pains? Is that a jibe? Could you imagine the tabloid headlines? Spencer Woolrich, Aether Wave star, spotted in gastronomic distress. Oh, unseemly hardly describes the half of it. According to the coroner, Helen was also poisoned. How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here before you. Hmm. Do we know what kind of... I think it was the same kind of poison, right? Like, I think she had stomach pains too. Or the poison that she had in her system caused stomach pains. But... Perhaps it was the uh, prophet's 
drugs that poisoned her. And that was the poison we're picking up? I don't know. Helen wasn't killed by the poison. Oh. Oh! That's very good to know. Perhaps the poisoner simply meant to incapacitate us both. Uh, disrupt the product hmm. launch. I couldn't say, Inspector. I'm merely an actor. It was kind of suspicious, I feel like. That's all I wanted to know. Very well, then. I'd like to talk to you about the murder. Certainly. But one quick question before we begin, if I may. Sure. How was it that Bellamy met her end? Mm. Why are you so curious? Why, I'm merely worried for my own sake. Perhaps whoever came after her could come after me next. But if you don't want to tell me, I understand. Whatever happened, I hope poor Bellamy didn't suffer. Mm. Did you know her well? Bellamy has been my co-star throughout the autumn of my career. I should like to think I knew her. In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. Unless you count the uncredited silent shopkeep on Melissa's meteoroids. Must not have been too flattering, always starring alongside a younger actress. Did you consider yourself a friend of hers? I'll ask you this. If you'd been the star of cinema for years, then suddenly found yourself scrounging for bit parts while a younger person stole the limelight, how would you feel? In short, the two of us weren't close. But that's not to say my dislike of her was so extreme that I tried to do anything drastic. Resenting Bellamy is one thing, but killing her is another completely. It's also beneath me. Yeah, this is another guy. I don't feel like he'd really have the balls to do it. Although, I do think he might have poisoned her. His, his reaction when I told him that she didn't die from the poison was a little suspicious, I feel like. Um, I don't know. And then he poisoned himself to cover up the fact that he poisoned her? I don't know. Maybe that's thinking a little too too much into it. All right. Speaking theoretically, how would you have killed the victim? Uh, yeah. Oh, come now, Inspector. What do you take me for? I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. What were you up to at the time of the murder? I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. Got anybody who can corroborate that? Respectfully, Inspector. It is rather counterproductive to commune with others while meditating. That's true. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I'm so surprised at that. Okay, back to my other questions. I'll answer whatever you wish. Enough? I suppose that is enough on that grim subject. I got a few more questions to ask you about that poisoning. Oh, must I relive that ghastly event again? My intestines still have yet to fully recover. But I suppose we may discuss it further. Nope, never mind. Very well, then. Who are you exactly? <laughs> I'm sure you're joking. Perhaps I'm not in my prime, but you've no doubt seen the name Spencer Woolrich on many a serial advertisement throughout your travels. Oh, sure, you were that guy in that one serial. Come now, I'm sure I would have made more of an impression than that. Could I have really fallen so far behind the times? Did you ever see me in the masked marketeer? The busker of Byzantium? What about episodes 13 and 190 of <laughs> Princess of Hephaestus? And who could forget from Halcyon with love? I was great in that movie. Even if I was starring beside a two-ton bucket of bolts and a woman with no talent. Hmm, busker of Byzantium. 
Heather wrote a B to implicate her killer before she died. I think that's a bit of a stretch, don't you? Probably. If you're going to come after me, I expect evidence. Unless you want to be smacked with litigation. Smacked! <laughs> smacked! Uh, I like you, dude. I hope you didn't kill her. Because I'd be looking forward to your next movie. Okay. So... Chef, we gotta go speak with the chef. Okay. Yeah, because I don't think he did it. Zeke Hannigan. Hannigan? Hannigan. Hey. Zeke Hannigan, Rizzo's Rangers 16th back. Pleased to meet you. Hey, Zeke. What can I do for you? Uh, I had some questions about the murder. Oh, you must be that inspector people have been talking about. That's me. It's a damn shame about Miss Helen. She was always real good to me and the rest of the rangers. Bertie's taking it pretty hard. Miss Helen was the love of his life. So, what did you want to know? Where were you at the time of the murder? I'm ashamed to admit it, but... Me and a couple of the other rangers spent the night in Constable Keen's cells down at the spaceport. We didn't do anything serious, just a bit of pranks and vandalism. It's what usually happens when we all get to drinking. Guess Constable Keen saw things a bit differently and had us hauled off. It checks out. Was Bertie in jail with the rest of you? No. We lost him somewhere along the way. Or maybe he managed to get away? I can't rightly remember. But he was definitely not sharing a cell with us. That much I know. Checks out. Tell me about Bertie and Helen. Oh. Bertie was mad about Helen. He was certifiable. The big galoot loved Helen about as much as he loved the game. Trouble is, Bertie was not blessed with an abundance of temper. Helen kept Bertie steady. If he lost his temper around her, it'd be because something broke between the two of them. Hmm. Do you think he could have killed her? What? Law, no. Bertie's got a fierce temper, but there's no way he'd ever have laid a finger on Miss Helen. Hmm. Can you think of anyone who would want to kill her? Miss Helen was outspoken. She made her share of enemies on account of her expressing herself. Just between you and me, I heard rumors the Prophet never much cared for Helen's brand of blunt honesty. Yeah. What can I do for you? Um, how long have you been with the Rangers? About half my life. You know I was named third most profitable investment on two non-consecutive seasons? Ain't a lot of players who can make that claim. Except for the guys who came in first and second, I guess. Mm -hmm. I spent the last season injured and almost got sold to the Hephaestus Hammers. But now I'm all convalesced. Ready to lay into some Cleo darlings, you know? Really break some legs. What brings the Rangers to Eridanos? Since it's the off-season, we're helping support the launch of Rizzo Spectrum Brown. Meet the fans, sign tossball cards, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. How about you, fella? You after a signature? Nah, I think I'll pass. He's just being coy. Anyway, where was I? Really, Felix? Just between you and me, Rizzo's ought to cancel the whole event out of respect for Miss Helen. That's all for now. I thought for sure Felix would be, uh, would jump on that opportunity. T. Um. <laughs> Mental note. Next time we got cows in the cargo bay, have a woolly cow party. Wonder how much they could drink. Huh? Multiple discrepancies detected. First discrepancy: a woolly cow is present in the hotel room. <laughs> Woolly cows are an import species for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve and are incapable of affording upper-class accommodations. Second discrepancy, this woolly cow is dangerously inebriated with Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Alcohol sanguinization ratio exceeds recommended maximum. And the recommended maximum blood alcohol ratio for woolly cow is? Zero. Ah. <laughs> so a cow can't have a good time in this colony. This unit has not been programmed to include bovine jurisprudence in its library of information. <laughs> A brief survey of this area reveals that the most recent occupants were athletes belonging to the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball Club. Yep, yeah, that's uh, how you have a good time. Was Black Hole Birdie here? Insufficient data. A brief survey of localized property damage divided by the area of this room yields the following estimate. This unit was likely occupied by every member of the Rizzo's Rangers. Minus one. Conclude examination. All right, so this is where they had a good time. Oh, look at the little, little woolly cow. How adorable. 
Okay. Anything down this way? Black old birdie. Oh, he's here now. Hey, birdie. Hotel rooms don't feel like home until you mess them up some. This one's real cozy. I have a few more questions. What do you want to know? Nope, never mind. This is just playing. I was actually going to see if Felix wanted your autograph, but I guess not. And we can't break into here, so let's go ahead and do that. Anything suspicious in here? Um. No. Okay. Let's go talk to the chef. Get to the bottom of this murder. Uh, lobby, please. Still feel like we have no idea who actually killed her. We've been investigating for episodes, for what, like five or six episodes now? I have no idea. I've still just got hunches. Oh. That's neat. I'm glad that they uh, added that. It's a nice touch to add. They could have easily just not put anything there, and nobody probably would have cared. Yes? Are you here for the double rack of smoked sprat? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you'll have to wait. Oh, damn it. Oh, don't give me that look. Let me see if I can pencil you in for later. Actually, what am I saying? I can't do that. I'm booked for the next month. You'll have to make a reservation. Okay, buddy. Uh, oh, no smoked sprat? What about purpleberry glazed cannon flank steaks? I... Weren't you listening? We're reserved solid for the next month. I'm sorry, but you'll really need to order in advance. <laughs> I understand. Just give me some woolly cheese curds and with fried manner fried nanners, and I'll stop asking. I is this some kind of a joke? We're not able to take on new orders at this time. I told you. Really? Not even braised sisty sisty ribs on a bed of mock apple leaves? No, no, we don't. Why are you doing this? Please stop. I'm sorry. Got any catch-ups? I'm here to investigate Halcyon Helen's murder. I'd like to ask you a few questions. You're, you're the inspector? Here? Why? I, I mean, you may ask me whatever you want. I have nothing to hide. Did you prepare, prepare her meals? Of course I did. I would never allow anyone else to touch the meals of so important a guest. Helen's last meal was poisoned. Oh. Oh my law, this is the end, isn't it? My mother always warned me that the culinary world was too dangerous, but I didn't heed her warnings. Okay, okay, I wasn't the one who did it, but I might have been mistaken when I said I was constantly watching Helen's food. Spencer Woolrich and Bellhop Owens were underfoot in the kitchen as I was preparing Helen's meal. Either one of them could have tampered with the food when I was fetching ingredients. Alibi's a little thin here. Why should I believe anything that you're saying? I understand your reluctance, but... Oh! Oh! I just remembered! The kitchen security camera. It'll prove I'm telling the truth about everything. Constable Keen has access to the security footage in her office at the spaceport. If you visit her, you can figure out what truly happened with Helen's meal. But she's dead. And it was erased. I remember, yeah. Damn it. Why were you being so evasive about leaving Helen's food unattended? Well, it's a breach of professionalism, of course. Why else would I worry about it? Unless you want me to give you something new to worry about, you should come clean. Coming clean it is. I may have taken some time to engage in a teensy bit of recreational drinking, and consequently, I may have been somewhat less than coherent after preparing Helen's meal. Any idea where I might find Bellhop Owens? Yes, but not specifically. Owens often procures exotic ingredients from the creatures at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Our guests can be rather particular. Mm -hmm. Let's not talk about the incident with the raptodon pheromone glands. 
It's always hard to say when Owens might be back. If I were you, I'd make a trek to the reserve myself. Otherwise, who knows how long you'll have to wait. Did we see him out there? What was Spencer Woolrich doing around in the kitchen? Mr. Woolrich often finds the hotel's meals... Woolrich. ...wanting. He seems to enjoy complaining in person. While I could appreciate someone with a discerning palate for once, I believe that Mr. Woolrich simply enjoys the attention he gets from us. Though, don't tell him I said as much. If you wish to speak with him, Mr. Woolrich can most likely be found in his suite on the VIP guest floor. He's usually there if he's not poking around here. That's all I want to ask about. Thank you for your understanding, Inspector. I'm sure you'll find the true culprit before long. I'm sure I will. Okay, so now... Speak with Bellhop Owens. Retrieve the kitchen's security footage. Okay. So the security footage is going to be gone. I don't think we're going to be able to retrieve that. But this shouldn't take too long. I mean, we visited everywhere so we can fast travel. Let's see. I don't think we ran into Bellhop Owens out in the wilderness either. I don't think I remember seeing him. Or maybe we did. Was he... That's where... Oh boy, that's not good. Let's go here first. To the constabulate. Constabulary. Hmm. Maybe now that we have the quest, we'll be able to do something more with the uh, terminal. Uh, security footage archive. Search for kitchen footage. Retrieving footage. How do I play it? What? What happened? Can... Uh, the footage can be retrieved from the cons- wait. Security footage of the kitchen would verify that Chief An Ansbar wasn't the only one handling the food in the kitchen. Even if footage doesn't exonerate him, it at least casts some doubt that he was a poisoner. Okay, I guess we don't actually get to see what was on the... the... the footage? That was a bit weird. Okay, well. I guess now we go... I guess... Which would be quicker? Probably here. Because there's a long elevator ride on the other side of the bridge. I'll just run out over there. Now, I do remember seeing terror rays on this uh, little little island in between. Which is what was used to poison people. So that could be something worth uh, thinking about. I just saw her, actually. She is crazy. You should not go see her. It's a waste of money. Bellhop Owens. Oh, yep, that's where the cave is, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think Bellhop Owens is going to be alive. Which means we're at another dead end, unless Woolrich did it. Hmm. Which I wouldn't be surprised if Woolrich did do the murder. Or not the murder, but the poisoning. I don't think he murdered him. But I do think he probably poisoned him. Alright, terror rays, come on. Here we go. Oh, here he is. He wasn't here before. Okay. A list of guests' special requests. Some drinks, some food items, and tellingly, a recently fulfilled request for a fresh terror ray bio gland from one Spencer Woolrich. Oh, Spencer Woolrich. It's Woolrich. Woolrich. That's how they pronounce it here, so that's how we'll pronounce it. Alright, let's go confront Spencer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he poisoned her. I don't think he killed her, though. Uh, VIP. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Let's do this. So 
Slug security. Hello. Hey, Spencer. Please, can't you see my heart is bursting at the seams? I absolutely must go out. A quote from the Sisty Cat. Oh. <laughs> I voiced a Sisty Pig aware that it was going to be slaughtered. <laughs> Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight up. Yeah, yeah. I've learned a thing or two about your activities in the hotel. Oh, have you? I have security footage of you tampering with Helen's last meal. Tampering? No, no, no. I just happened to be passing through the kitchen and saw a dish that looked good. If being hungry is a crime, you better indict three-fourths of Halcyon. Hmm. So, quick question. What was it you wanted with a terrory bile gland? What? That damn bellhop promised discretion. Well, if you must know, it's... Um, an appetite suppressant. How do you think I keep my form so lithe? Terror ray glands keep me from feeling hunger pangs. Uh, I've never heard of that. You sure you're talking about terror rays? Their bits tend to give folks the runs. Oh, that's it. I'm firing my nutritionist this instant. Hmm. If the terror ray gland was an appetite suppressant, you wouldn't be hungry if you took it. Oh, uh, well, there's... Maybe I just wanted to see what was in it. Oh, law, What a pathetic defense. Mm -hmm. As it so happens, I may not have had the terror egg land acquired for personal use. I, I may have placed it in Bellamy's meal. But before you indict me, please, just listen. I wasn't trying to kill her. Talk. I will. I will. Terror ray glands aren't supposed to be lethally poisonous. They're supposed to cause extreme lethargy. As if you'd inhaled several quarts of Spectrum Vodka. She would have had to eat six or seven of the glands to die. And even then, it would be an extended, arduous process. Hey, you really seem like a toxi toxicologist. Maybe you played one for the Aether Wave. No. Why poison her at all? I was just getting to that. I only wanted her to be incapacitated during the brown unveiling. With her out of commission, the next available celebrity, myself, would get to host the unveiling. Please think twice about telling the administrator of my misdeeds. If he learns the truth, what's left of my career will be left in shambles. Hmm. And what would you want me to say instead? Tell him, uh, tell him it was a, a poisonous mushroom or a bite from some poisonous insect. An accident. Hmm. I promise I shall make up for my actions. Pay. To erect a statue in Helen's honor, or perhaps even dedicate a performance to her memory. I really like you, Spencer. But no, I'm telling him the truth. What will happen when all of the great actors are gone, Inspector? Who will replace us? No one. That's who. There will be nothing on the Aether Waves but serials starring mechanicals. I hope it's worth yeah, it. Yeah, I don't watch I don't watch serials, so it'll be fine. But he still didn't murder her. What floor would Penthouse. Next up. He did not murder her. Maybe if she wasn't poisoned, she might have been able to survive, though. So... Inspector. I've completed my investigation into Helen's poisoning. Excellent. I trust you have a name for our poisoner. Spencer Warwick confessed to the crime. Oh, I am disappointed. I'd always believed Mr. Woolrich a man of high character. It pains me to order the arrest and detention of someone I admired. I'd like you to continue investigating Helen's murder. You've found the poisoner, but her killer remains at large. Yep. Um, I'll be back. I don't know who killed her. <laughs> uh, unfinished accusation. 
If you're ready to answer this question, speak to Administrator, Ludo- Administrator Ludovico on the penthouse terminal and make your accusation. You're confident that you investigated everyone who may have had a hand in her death. Okay, do I have like this here? Aha. This board is covered with a loose collection of photographs and papers. Examine the board more closely. Something is rotten on Eridonus. With every step of your investigation, you come closer to the truth. Okay. Examine your suspects. Who could have killed Halsey and Helen? What was their motive? Okay. Alright, so we know where to look. We're going to examine this and figure out who killed Helen in the next episode, guys. It's a bit of a cliffhanger, but you'll just have to wait and see. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you later.